Hello everyone, I want to talk about getting fat tone with your violin. And that could mean playing deep sustained notes or playing louder. Um, this also correlates to playing faster. I'm going to show you an exercise and a, me a mechanic within your body that you need to work on um, through slow, focused practice. This, the disclaimer here is that this is going to take a long time. and I'm going to show you an exaggerated exercise that you'll have to experiment with on your own to really get the benefit from. So creating a fat tone is about absorbing absorbing shock and eliminating noise from the signal that you're producing on the violin. You want to make a resonant tone rather than um, something that is choked off or has noise in the, in the sound. So what you want to feel first as a as an experiment or exercise, use your left violin forearm and pretend you're bowing with your bow arm. And what you're seeing <clears throat> is a sort of flexion or shock, I, I like to say it's shock absorption, where when you draw the bow, the big part of your arm makes a motion and your fingers and your wrist absorb that motion and translate it into um, more f a, a more fine attack, right? So if you were just, if you had your fist closed like this and you tried to bow, you have no control over that sound. So what we're trying to develop is a sort of system to absorb the shock. And on the violin bow, it looks like this. So I'm going to hold the violin bow with my left arm. I'm going to simulate a playing position over my left shoulder. Then I'm going to take my bow grip, and what I want to feel, I'm going to hold the bow steady and start to simulate pulling a bow and see how that bow grip flexes backwards. And on the up bow, it does just the opposite. It's going to flex forward like this. And that is an exaggerated motion, like I explained at the beginning of the video. You want to feel the capacity to do that. You don't want to feel necessarily like you have to make a conscious physical motion to get this effect. So I'll show you on the violin and, I, and you'll probably notice that it's much more subtle and not exaggerated like that. The more important thing before I start is to feel how much shock absorption there is in the system of the violin as well. The bow hair will absorb shock. I don't want to touch it, but it's, it's squishy if I show you on the string. And also the violin string itself has a bit of shock absorption, especially if you find a good contact point, you'll find it has a lot of uh, friction there before it will release the note. So that's what we're working with. playing with that flexibility and you can use it to get a deeper bite if you want or less and more smooth tone as well. Now try to take the bite out, now a little more bite. Uh, there, I'm really trying to feel that friction before it releases. That's how you get a big fat tone. Absorb the shock and use it to your advantage to create a bite or a smooth tone as you need it. Uh, I hope that helped and if you have any other questions about creating a fat tone and how this mechanic works, I'd be happy to, to answer any questions you might have. Okay, so thank you very much for watching.